Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Patron Server. I'm thinking OBS is giving me some frame rate issues as well. This is kind of what I talked about in my um, full damage episode where I have my recording issue and for some reason Fraps won't record uh, Minecraft or it will but only at 11 frames. I think OBS lowers the frame rate too but it's certainly not as bad as Fraps is 11 frames per second. Um, yeah, for, for any news on that, by the way, I think what I'm going to do is, um, reinstall Windows completely, like, flat out, just do a complete and utter wipe of everything, and see what goes from there, but that's more news for full damage. So, this is the Patreon server, as you all guys know, hosted by Pickle Hosting, and with a whole bunch of people on it. Let's fly around, and let's go into game mode, game mode, get game, get game mode. Three, boom, and let's fly around, and have a look at some things and stuff. I think that's a little slow because the world's not loading in properly, but it's better than fraps. Anyway, this is Tunnel Z's house, uh, also known as um, Forever and Ever. She used to be with some stuff in it. We're gonna look around in. Uh, this is a game mode, by the way, a spectator mode. So we can kind of look in chess, but we can't, like, interact with anything. And we can no-clip through everything, which is always good fun. And, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Some stuff. That's a... Uh, is that a dropper, or a... Uh, that's a dropper, right? With snowballs in it. Why? You just... just... just cuz? Yeah, we'll shoot at this. Okay, whatever. Anyway, that's that house. Coming along nicely. Uh, over here, once it loads in, this is. Crap, I can't remember. Let me get the whitelist up. Uh, whitelist list. It's not the tallness. Might be Dashian? Maybe? Or it might be Tekums. It's one of those two, I think. They might have a sign. This is their house, which is rather cool. They did have a bunny, which I gave to them, but I don't think that's here anymore. It's disappeared. Have I got audio right now? Okay, yeah, I do. I can hear the water now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, the bunny's not here anymore. I think the bunny died, which is a shame, because it was a nice bunny, and like I said, I gave it to them. Uh, but yeah, they got a nice little house going on here. Regardless, we don't know whose it is, but it's nice. Oh, that's the, uh, okay, yeah, that's the, is it, maybe? Hang on, I might need to go into game mode 1 to see that. Let's do that, game mode 1. Uh, no, the name's not showing up anyway. I did, um, give three people, we were talking about Jello for some, for some reason, and so I gave everybody who was on the server at that time a slime block named Jello, but that didn't come up as a name, so I don't know. Uh, over here we have... The post office, that's been here for a while. Over here, we have the welcome center. Let me know what you guys think about the spectator mode, by the way. I decided to use it for this kind of flying around thing we do at the start, because I, I think it might be better, but who knows. And uh, This is LMNAO, the hut, at 7781169. One, that's not that. That's somewhere over. That's somewhere over this way. That's somewhere way over this way. I don't think I've seen that. Um, let's TP over there. TP me. Uh, what was it? Seven seven six hundred one or minus one five nine? I think. We're in a tree. Aha! Aha! This is way out of the way. This is this is L M N A O. Something like that. Sure. With some stuff in it. I don't like that there's no audio when you open chess in spectator mode. A uh, nice little path which goes down here. What does it say? You can peek here, but remember, don't bring a creeper. Nice. That's cool. Oh, it's got a sign on it too. Yeah, and I'm in a no, I'm in a no creeps allowed. Result badly. Is there redstone and stuff involved? Like TNT? No. 
Over there, there's two holes there, though. Well, that'd be fun if you filled your house with TNT just below the floor in case anybody brought in a creeper. That'd be cool. Uh, let's go. Warp messages. Boom. Ah, ha, ha. Da, da, da. Uh, the egg. I don't think anybody's found that yet. Um, Graydon, aka. No, Graydon gave up. Graydon's Inferno Turtle. Uh, CS1 hid it. Um, I know where it is, but I, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Time, set, date. Bum, bum. Uh, over here we have the construction. I believe this is going to be... I can't remember what it's going to be. It's, it's some kind of shop of some description, but I can't remember what. Yeah, it's a shop of something. I can't remember what. It's got. It's been like a, construct, a construction site. So you've got the scaffolding. There was a crane here before. I think that's really cool. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be completed. and It's not going to be a construction site, and it certainly won't be as cool anymore. This is Crafty Tower. Ugliest building known to man. Bedrooms. Uh, there's a huge dropper thing now to kill mobs. There's all the way up there. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just it's hideous. <laughs> That's built by CS1. Um, over there we have the little polling station. Currently doing a repoll on um, keep inventory. I've changed it now so that uh, I know who votes. Uh, so the votes aren't going to be anonymous anymore. Uh, but only I will know them. Um, but now I can make sure that people don't vote twice, which I think may have been an issue before, but I don't know. What's this? Oh, the cactus farm by Toothless? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, this is a thingy. Oh, it broke! That's a shame. The creeper killed it. I, um, I put this command block here with a command that turned people to creative. That was fun, but somebody broke it. I'll have to fix that again later on. Over here we have the Toothless' little house. I said lots of words really fast there. Toothless' little house. Uh, not a lot going on here, but it's nice and cute. Uh, then we have the end portal over this way somewhere, I think. Somewhere... Yes, here is the end portal. Just down this hole. It's very disconcerting when we're going through, when we're no clipping through stuff. I would go into the end, but I had problems last time. I was in spectator mode and changed to um, to creative mode when going through the end. So we're not going to do that. I think that's pretty much everything that's new, at least what I know of, anyway. I don't think there's anything else. Certainly not around spawn. Um, I know the hangar, actually. Um, I want to set up a warp for the hangar just for my purposes, because I can't bother to TP there every time. Um, what is it? TP Adlington for 90901199. Hangar. The hangar. Ooh, it's got. Ooh, wow. It's got lots of stuff on the front of it now. Uh, but the main thing. The floor is now centered. As far as I understand, I didn't actually. Hello, you're very loud. Jesus. Uh, okay, got two on this side. Let's just double check. Two on this side. Ah. So this is in the middle. So this guy isn't in the middle. <laughs> I'm gonna find stuff to nitpick every time. This guy is not in the middle. That's bad. <laughs> But no, for real, this is looking really cool. Um, you got these vat things over here, like cloning vat, cloning storage, like cryogenic tanks. They look really cool. I like them. And then some villagers over here doing stuff. This is some kind of wheat UFO thing. What I want to do, the hangar is kind of like, um, I think anyway, it's like hangar, eight, hangar 13, warehouse 13 kind of deal, I think. Kind of like a mystery Area 51 kind of weirdness thing, from what I understand. I could be completely wrong. It's just a way in. Yeah, it's just a way in. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of spawn in some weird items and creatures and stuff, so that 
like the hangar can actually be populated with strange and mystical things. Like maybe have some weird creatures running around uh, that um, people have to capture and stuff. Anyway, let's uh, walk back to the castle. Castle. Change it in the castle. 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 Uh, the seating has changed here. I wanted to increase the seating. So I've gone with the old carpet on fence thing for the seating. Um, the Great Hall overall is kind of a bit small. I think. I don't know. I've been working on the dormitories over here. Uh, the idea is I'm going to have five houses, maybe six houses. One's going to be enchanting, which is this one, because it's coming off the library. Uh, there's going to be the building. Um, there's going to be redstone. There's going to be exploration. There's going to be combat. Maybe mining? And maybe crafting. But, like, mining and crafting, they kind of go over the whole Minecraft thing. Like, that's... That's Minecraft, right? So, like, if I just do the first five that I said, then it's kind of like stuff. Like, it's not it's not encompassing the whole of Minecraft. It's encompassing different aspects of Minecraft instead of what mining and crafting would do. Uh, so I think we're going to go with five houses. Uh, right now, uh, in this bedroom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Yes, nine, ten, uh, ten bunk beds. This is for one gender. Then through the other door here, there'll be the other gender. Uh, so it's twenty in total. So twenty per house. Um, times five obviously is a hundred. So that would mean we would have need to have like a hundred-ish seats in here. Right now we've got eighty seats. I think that's okay, because even though really kind of like I wanted uh, one seat per player, or, well, not per player, per student. I don't think there'll ever be a hundred uh, patrons on the on the server here. I I would love it if there was, but I don't expect that to happen. Um, you know what I want to do actually? What I'm thinking of it. Let's go into game mode one. Game mode one. Yeah, I want to. Why do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. Uh, kind of. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go for it. Only live once. YOLO. Done. Mm, that. Ooh. Oh. That's off center. One, two, three. Ah. Uh, that's. That's a little short. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's increase this. I guess we're going to have 82 seats now. <laughs> Uh, let's do that there, like that. Change out this guy. Don't know why these are slabs, but these are slabs for whatever particular reason. Uh, change out this guy. Like so. And like so. So yeah, right now we have 80 seats in here. Uh, well, 82 now. Which I think is okay. I think 82 seats, and if we have 100 students, um, 20 students per house, uh, so that would be 100 students. Uh, there's going to be five years in the school, so if we have um, 20 students per house, then we're going to have. Quickly do the math. Um, four, four students per year, uh, two male, two female, right? Oh, I can't fly through the window anymore because I'm not in a spectator. I think that's right. Four students per year? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, two male, two female students per year. I think that's okay. Ideally, I would like more. Like, at least double that. Uh, but then I'd have to increase the size of this hall. That's not something I can really do. Unless I took out the pillars and put seating along uh, all the way along these walls. But again, that's not something I really want to do. So yeah, in hindsight, it would have been great to, to 
build this hall a bit better, but or a bit bigger. But anyway, that's it should be okay. So yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. Just have that kind of many students. Um, you did. He has really bad internet. Time set day. Time set day. There we go. So yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. Have um have that many students, I guess. So I may want to change these uh, these dorms again, so I can have it per year, or at least per couple of years, I guess. Because uh, right now everybody will be bunked into one. Like this would be all the male students in the house and all the female students in the house. So that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I kind of want to do it per year as well. Um, this will be like the third time I've redesigned the bedrooms, though, so I I don't really want to do that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, other things that have changed, I have finished up the third floor here. The third floor has a plan. Uh, it's kind of difficult to make out, but it's the, the snow-capped blocks, essentially, all the way around. Um, that particular little room is going to be a balcony. Uh, over there is going to be a balcony going all the way around that corner. And connecting that doorway to that doorway. Uh, then there's going to be various rooms over here and over here. And then down there, and over there, and then we're working on the fourth floor here. Don't have a lot of room on the fourth floor, but the fourth floor is going to be the last floor above ground, probably, because I'm I'm kind of running out of room. Uh, I'll do some towers and stuff, which may be connected to this on a fifth floor, but who knows? Uh, we'll work stuff out. I also want to build a couple of towers that are just kind of like spiral staircases to connect the floors when this is out of commission, like this isn't in the proper configuration you want. But we shall have to see on that front as well. I think that's pretty much all the changes for right now. So I think I'm going to end the video here. It was just a quick video to one, test out OBS for an entire video, and to see if you guys have any problems with it, see what if you guys notice anything. Uh, like I said, it may not be an issue for longer, uh, assuming that I can successfully reinstall Windows just flat out, start everything all over again. Uh, but we'll have to see on that front. Uh, if you guys would like to become a patron, there is a link in the description to do so. A pledge of $10 a month will get you onto the uh, the patron server, the Adlington patron server, hosted by Pickle Hosting, and truly the most exciting place on the internet. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's really snowy outside, so I'm kind of I'm kind of distracted by cars sliding around. It's kind of fun to watch. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next episode.